get ready to unbox the Season of Delights with our... Oh, wow! This one right here. So, I picked up another one. This was because of your request I picked this up. But I do have so, so many empties this time. So, you can hear a mom giving directions. We're making her famous empanadas. Thanks for joining me for another vlog. Of course, we have some unboxing to do. I received some lovely things, as well as a couple of orders that I placed that I haven't had a chance to open yet. And then I have to pack because we are going to go see my parents. Hopefully get some footage there. I and mean, I do have a whole box of empties over there that I need to go through. It's pretty big, but let's look at some of the things I picked up. One of my orders that came in was the refer order. I had posted this on the community tab because my plan for this, I have so many refer brushes myself, but deal was one of the best deals they had on their site. And so I think I got, let's see, whoa, how many do I have? Two, four, six. 15, 18 eye brushes here. And my idea is to split this up amongst three people. So I'm going to do a nice curated set of brushes based on their eye shape, their eye size, and brushes I think they would like. And I also want to try their gentle brush soap. I've used other solid soaps for a brush, but this is specifically for brushes because I'll use the Beauty Blender sponge soap, but this one was created for brushes specifically. So it's air cured for 90 days, formulated for natural bristles. And this is made in Japan and it's this color right here. It's in a plastic wrap right now. So I have high hopes for this because I love their brushes and I want to take care of them as much as possible. And I think the price was pretty good on this one. And then I also have this intense hydration cream can't remember how I ended up with this, I think, or maybe it was one of the things that I added on. I can't remember how I ended up with this in there, but it's a moisturizer. It has a niacinamide 5% in there, as well as some other great things, but I've tried this before and it is really nice. Oh yeah, my Sephora order. Remember Sephora <laughs> sale? I knew it was gonna come um, much, much later. This is my very last order I made. And there were a couple of more, couple more items I wanted to pick up, but then I remembered I have so many points that I'll be good towards cash, not cash, but like $10 at a time off the purchase. So I started to calculate and I think if I use those separately, I'd be able to actually get more off the products that I needed to pick up. Oh, and here's that teeny tiny little hourglass ambient lighting powder in dim light. Here's dim light. So I plan on using that in the middle of my face and I just need a little bit. So I love these tiny, even if they had palettes that were tiny like this, I'd probably purchase them because I have so much makeup. I'll never go through anything except if it's a holy grail item. I also picked this up. Oh yeah, perfect for travel time. So I wanted to try this Fresh Press Renewing Powder Cleanser with Pure Vitamin C. So I'm gonna take some with me. There are 28 in here. I need to take some with me and try this out. Shantikai occasionally sends some items over, especially things that I need. So I've got the Fossil Longest Lash mascara which I love it is my holy grail mascara every once in a while they will send these to me but in between I'm definitely purchasing these myself one of my most used products ever they also sent over the biolifting serum which I love one of my favorite serums it's also really oh gosh thought I dropped it <laughs> this is one of the most hydrating serums as well but this is the one that I suggest to try first if you've never tried their skincare they also sent over the 24 karat gold forming moisturizer which is actually what I have on my face now I love the gold line and this one I love the container for this because it's a pump so it's a little less messy than things that are in a jar it does a really beautiful job and easy to travel with so thank you Shantikai for sending those over we've got this from flight 70 and oh, I'm glad I'm opening this because I want my mom to try some of their products. So they have sent over a few more items. I tried a couple of their lip products. Thank you Flight70 for sending these over. So this here is a cream to powder highlighter. Here's this. So it looks like this. And let's see how this feels. Oh, by the way, this is the Hermes nail polish that I love so much that I have on. I want to definitely try other colors. It's a lovely cream. Let's see what it looks like on. So I have a feeling this is gonna be really nice on the skin because anything that's like a creamier texture for highlighter is pretty, but then it dries down. So that's an interesting combination because powder highlighters can sometimes emphasize texture. Oh, but this is not doing that, is it? It's really pretty. Well, that's lovely. Okay, I'm taking this with me. Definitely for the subtle highlighter people like me. Let's do some down the bridge of the nose, see what that looks like. And I like that it dries down as well. Oh, really lovely. 
I have so much makeup I can only feature so many in a sit down so you'll see a lot of products that you might not see in a sit down video in a vlog. Okay, so this is Glowback Global Prep. It's a primer, oh, it's a brightening primer. Sheer and complexion boosting primer. So here's what it looks like. It definitely does not look frosty, but there's a very subtle, oh, I'm liking this kind of theme here, it's subtle glow. So you can wear this alone. Oh, it has a nice, like a smoothing effect on it. Oh, nice, I'm, I'm really interested to try this under makeup now. One ounce, so I can definitely travel with that. Let's see if it fits once I put everything else in my uh, travel. Okay, so this is a lip lacquer. Oh, wow, look at that shade. That's very vibrant. Should we try it? I don't know if it talked about like a lip smoothing effect, but it seems like my lips are a little bit smoother. I'm definitely really liking that highlighter though and this lip product and also curious about the primer because it feels really smooth on my hand. I received this from a company called Vetted. Thank you so much for sending this over and I really liked the origins of this company. Let's see if I can remember what it was after I read about it. So that's what I do. I read about companies before I will accept anything from them because I want them to be things that I'm either interested in or things I think that you would be interested in. I love these things getting put on my radar as well. I think there's some really great smaller companies out there doing some wonderful things. So I wanna make sure to include those when I can. So this is made in the USA, designed and carefully vetted by three dermatologists. So I really liked that. So thank you so much for sending these over. A cleanser. Ooh, what a lovely bottle as well. I think it's glass, sounds glass. I love the minimalist design on that. Oh, nice. So I love uh, vi anything with vitamin C. This is a vitamin C complex serum. I do like their packaging. It's very sleek. So it's nice and lightweight. This is the retinoid serum. Oh, it has an R on it. Wait, they make it really easy for you to figure out what things are, which I like. Oh, and that's the texture. So these are the three products I'll be testing out from Vetted. Cleanser, oh my gosh, almost dropped it. The cleanser, the vitamin C complex, and also the retinoid. One more large box over there. This is, oh, this one's from L'Occitane. So thank you so much to L'Occitane for sending this over. Okay, get ready to unbox a season of delights with our, oh wow! They're 2223 classic advent calendar. And enjoy a twist on tradition with L'Occitane's iconic limited edition. So this year's offerings take inspiration from the era of brand, of the brands beginning in the 1970s to a wonderful holiday season ahead. Oh, so thank you so much. Almond and flowers, hmm. Very hydrating. Perfect, because my skin gets so, so dry in the winter. More shower oil, which actually this is what we have been really enjoying. This looks like candy, but it's not. We have a bath cube, an almond bath cube. That's really cute. Here, let me show you. They're quite festive. The packaging is so cute. Then we have here, oh yay! A uh, hand lotion, I love their hand lotions. This is the Almond and Flowers Delicious Hands. Immediately packing this one. Yeah, I haven't actually hit the calendar yet. It's down there somewhere. Oh, wow. It says Cultivators of Love. I was re used to remember when people would show these on YouTube and I thought it was so neat that they got them. So thank you again for your support. I know that's the only reason I receive any of this, but I'm glad I can show you what these are in case it's something you're interested in as well. Ooh, look at that. It's a tree. That's beautiful. I think it's a tree. You know what I like about this one? It's an actual advent calendar. I don't know, some of the other ones, they're too easy to actually open. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait, and I'm not going to unbox this now. I'm actually gonna open these every day until Christmas because that'll be kind of fun to open each one. Because sometimes the advent calendars are not a surprise anymore. I'm not gonna look at anybody's video that has this. I'm going to open one every day because I remember being a child and we had advent calendars but they were chocolate <laughs> and we would open one every day. And so I'm gonna open one of these every day. So thank you so much, L'Occitane. I'm excited, of course, I could read the back and tell you what's in there. Here, I'll show you if you wanna look. Let it focus on there. So if you can read it, you can see what little preview of what's in there. I'm sure if I looked online, it would tell me too. I don't even know if we can see that. 1976 is when it was established after I was born. So I'm actually older than L'Occitane, even though I feel like this is such a heritage brand. Apparently I am older than L'Occitane. So I will be enjoying this as an advent calendar myself. I'm gonna go ahead and pack, but I think the next time I see you will be at my parents' house.
trying out the iPhone 15 here. I've got clips of us hiking. Would you call that a hike? Yes. We got our exercise that way. And I think they have a reformation store here. So I'm going to try and try some things on. And if I will have been successful, then you will have seen some uh, reels. No, you'll have seen shorts. some shorts because they're having a sale like this is right before Thanksgiving. We're going shopping. 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 Someone likes a good white t-shirt. Which one do you like better? Um, do you like a pocket or no pocket? Yes. We went to Reformation and I tried on this cashmere sweater dress and the cutest ballet flats, but I really loved this cable cashmere sweater, really soft, oversized with a denim skirt, and then again, the ballet flats. But this silk skirt is a really great stable piece. It falls really beautifully. And then I got it on with the top I actually ordered, so that's in the mail for me. I also loved this cardigan sweater, cashmere again, great pockets on this. And then I love the loose sleeves. It's the perfect fit. This top was not my favorite. I was hoping it looked a little bit cuter, but maybe it opened would have been better. And then we have on this denim black skirt, which is nice and long if you're looking for a long one. Really flattering. And again, these shoes that I loved so much. Okay, I don't know how I like that shopping experience where you like order what you want on the screen and then it they tell you when your room is ready, but actually inside, I took a little video, is you can um, request other items from the inside of, it's a smaller oh, screen. Interesting. And you can request different, like, actually, not just different sizes of what you have, but also just other items. And then you just, like, request on the screen, and then they read you. So that was fun. getting a coffee in this morning. Yes, it's uh, a preemptive strike to Thanksgiving feast. Back. We'll actually walk over the mountain to get a coffee and a bagel and, you know, put some calories on and then walk back. So it kind of negates the purpose, I suppose, to reward at the end. It is. So we're doing that and then we're going to go back and we're going to cook Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. This is my cook the whole the whole week. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm on location the whole week. That is very scary. So you can hear a mom giving directions. We're making her famous empanadas today. And earlier, well actually I can show you some clips. First she marinated, not marinated. She stir fried some green onions and then what kind of meat did you have mom? Is that beef, ground, ground beef. beef? And then potatoes, peas, and what? And a little soy sauce. And then I made the dough and so now we're gonna make handmade empanadas. Dad has a little press that we're gonna try and use, but um, she would like us to hand, hand make them. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Over there. Good. 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 One of the participants says good. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna get a close up of your handiwork.
better nice than job. mine. For sure. Good job. <laughs> We've got someone doing a different take on empanadas. You're gonna make a apple empanada yep. pie because we have a request. We sure do. Tour apple. One of the de most demanding customers. Yes. You don't go beyond this medium heat mm -hmm. because what happens is that this will it will burn the. Um, mm -hmm. Did someone Shantakai order arrived while we were here? What would you end up ordering? The Ultimate Lifting Duo. So you All got right. the serum and the moisturizer times, Together. times two. Mm -hmm. Purifying and exfoliating phytoactive solution. Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh, that's a cute package Thank that comes in. we've arrived home I actually just filmed a video of my November favorites which will be coming up soon I have a Chanel video coming up for you as well but I wanted to share with you some things I recently picked up including some things that I think are probably still on sale today <laughs> today which is Monday mostly electronic things if you're a content creator these might be interesting to you or just in general if you like photography and video i also picked up a couple of things from reformation they are in the mail to me so i picked up a top a sleeveless top i have the cream version of it and so i wanted a black version of it and then also i saw a nice boat neck that's one of my favorite cuts is a boat neck and it's got long sleeves so i size up in reformation because they tend to have a little bit smaller fit. Neely Loton runs larger, but Reformation tends to run smaller. So I order large because I want a little bit of room. I don't want things super fit and super snug, but I do love their designs and their price point is not completely low, but it's also not Neely Loton level either, but they have some style and they are staple pieces for me. So I picked those two up from Reformation and then I also ordered a new camera. So we are on the G7X Mark II right now, which does not have an external mic port on it. So I wanted a new vlogging camera and one with an external port. Although I have to say, I also upgraded my phone to a 15 and the video that you saw that has cinematic mode where it's like blurry in the background, that is taken with this phone. And it's a front facing camera that I took that with. So it's really good. And the sound actually was quite nice, but also this microphone I think can be used with iPhone 15. So this is the Rode mic that I picked up. It's a video micro and it's on sale. So actually I picked up another one because I tried it on my large camera. So the favorites video you'll see will have that mic on it. Let me show you. I don't think it's new, but it's new to me. This is the microphone that I used on that and it's so teeny tiny and it does not require batteries because this is what I was using before, this large microphone, and it has a battery pack. So this eliminates the need for a battery and also the waste of a battery. And it just hooks in like this. So this is the mic that I picked up. So I actually just ordered another one. So this one can stay on this camera that I film my stem videos with and then I can have an external one for the G7X Mark III that's coming in. It also should work with the iPhone, I've gotta try it. Speaking of the G7X, I needed to get a case for it and this is a really smart idea. So it's like a silicone case and it has this little flap that protects the lens as well, kind of like what I have on mine right now. And it just helps protect the camera in general because I've dropped my G7X so many times. So hopefully this will help extend the life of that camera. What I did notice with the Canons is that, what other people have noticed is that the focus function tends to not do as well over time, and this one's a year and a half old. So they're not disposable cameras, but if you do vlogging a lot, it's going to wear and tear the camera. This also comes with, which is really nice, this wind shield on it. And if you are filming outside and there's wind, this really helps to cut down on the excess noise. So really great deal on that mic if you were looking for one. I also picked up, if you want, there's a bracket that goes on the bottom of the G7X that will hold the microphone because even though there's a port in the camera, there's nothing to hold the actual uh, microphone or else it's just like dangling off the side of the, the camera. So I got this vlog bracket. I don't know how it works yet. I have to wait till the camera gets here, which was gonna be this week. But it's just this 
shoe piece that goes on there so that the microphone can slide in there and be held in place. Hopefully the sound quality will be improved once I get the camera because I'll be using an extra mic. I also ordered SD cards which are on sale if you film. You definitely know how important SD cards are to have space because sometimes I'll film in succession and I need lots of room for videos so that I can edit them when I have time. I also picked up the nail file, the glass nail file by Chanel, gosh, a few months ago when they had the limited edition shades. And I showed it to my mom and she really liked it. So I just gave it to her and I gave one to my sister and then I ended up with nothing for myself, which is fine. But then I tried it when I was there and I thought, oh, I should have picked up more of them because it was really a good nail file. Let me know if you have that one. But I picked up this one on sale, which is, where is this made? I think it's made in the Czech Republic. So this is the nail file I picked up. Actually, I picked up two so I can put one in my bag, but it looks like this. And then it's a plain glass nail file. I think the sticker comes off too, yeah. The sticker should be removable. So it's a very simple glass nail file, and then it's got this case for it. So I'm actually gonna put one in my bag. Picked up two of those on sale, and it goes in the little carrying case like this. And then I picked up this because as you know, I do my own nails and because I like something to push back the cuticles a little bit and they had this as well. So if you like to do your own nails, this might be interesting. This is actually a different nail file. What did I order? I ordered also something that pushes back the cuticle. Okay. Okay. Now I have to see, what did I do? Okay. <laughs> I have to see if I need to order that thing that I'm talking about now because this is also a nail file. This one is part of the actual design right here. Now I need to get the other product that I thought I got, which is a cuticle pusher. Oh, I'm glad I opened that today. I like this case that I got for my iPhone. It's clear. I always like to protect the glass on my phone. So I purchased one that's really easy to apply. It has a case that you put the phone phone in and it helps you align so you're not guessing how to apply the glass on top. So I can list that one for you too because I really like that one. Yeah, I picked up some Hermes on sale. So let me show you in a minute. I typically will share those promos with you because they're kind of rare. I received this from Tan Lux. I'm not someone who typically applies tanning products, but I read about them and I thought they sounded interesting to at least look into. The Body Illuminating Self Tan Drops. Beautiful glass bottle and then a dropper. So if you're interested in tanning products, I thought these looked really nice. And then this one is the Super Gloss Broad Spectrum SPF 30 illuminating bronzing drops. I really was the most interested in this. So this one has, like I said, SPF 30. Ooh, I like the bronze on it. It's supposed to help blur imperfections. What oh, has a really nice feel to it. Very subtle, has a scent, but it smells clean. Okay, so we're gonna try this on the face. The face, illuminating self tan drops on the face. And it looks like this. It has a dropper as well. And they have different levels of tan. This one is light to medium. So thank you to Tanlex for sending those over. We have my order from Bloomingdale's here. Yeah, so this is a recommendation from you. So thank you so much for recommending this. This is a refill of their lipstick because I have the case already and I love that Hermes does refills, except I have to say, they wait a little bit longer to get the refills in place when a new product launches, but cooler toned and it looks a little bit lighter. So we'll try this one on in the Get Ready With Me. Excited for that because I love their lipsticks, but I don't love all the shades. They're a little too editorial for me. I just go for pretty lip shades. And then we have here, oh yeah, I almost forgot I ordered this. This is the mascara and I liked the black mascara. So I picked up this one in number five there. This one right here. So I picked up another one. This was because of your request I picked this up and I'm gonna try it. I'm excited. It's the green one right here. Ooh, it's really green. Lovely. Okay, so excited to give this a try. Oh yeah, I also ordered more lights. So I have a big panel light that I list down in the description box below. But also, I wanted to pick up two more panel lights because I'm having to sit a little bit further away from the camera. I know those things that pop up can end up a little bit closer to my face than I want them to be, so I'm trying to sit further back, but then that affects the lighting. So I ordered a couple of lights. I also purchased soft boxes for them, so we'll see if that helps. So I bought a lot of tech during the sale. It came in a little Hermes bag. That is so cute. It's a little smushed. I mean, they have a pretty big box that it came in, and I don't know why it's this 
smush, but it's very cute. Another eyeshadow. Again, because of your request, so thank you for that. This will make my third one third Hermes palette so it arrives like this and I know I have been reminded about the brush in here but I don't use I don't use the brushes let me know do you use the little brush in here Ooh, that's really pretty look at that lovely shades now this is as vibrant as I had imagined it would be that green but these look like very wearable colors and then there's just this pop of color Pretty. Okay, so excited to try that one. Yeah, I wanted to make sure this goes up before the promos end. If they haven't already ended, I wanted to share them with you. I thought I was gonna end this video, but then I watched back the video that I just took. Looks like we do have some time to do some empties also. But I also realized I do have this, the glass cuticle pusher. It would help if I would actually open these things. Also, I thought we were gonna go to lunch, but my husband is still working on the yard, so not yet. But it looks like this. Okay, I know it's hard to see, but it's a pointed end here, and it's also this flat part here. So it pushes back the cuticles really nicely, and then I can clean this really well. But I do have so, so many empties this time. I like these mini reviews. I think they're so helpful. So we've got Chantecaille's Faux Seal Along Slash Mascara. You know I love this. Volume, length. It's really quick, so that's why I love that one. We have here the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleansing Gel. This is something that I have a backup for, but I'm trying to test out some of my skincare that I received so I am putting that one on pause for now because I do want to use some of the other skincare I have like this one I just talked about by Decorte. I am trying out their products to give you a little review of them so I have that on right now the cream and then I've got the Chantecaille's SPF 45 the most excellent primer with SPF under makeup for those of you who have wanted to know what that is it's this one we have here this that was sent to me by Bastide it's a body wash and we very much enjoyed this I have here also an empty cushion so if you have the Chantecaille cushion foundations these come out and there's another one in there for you so if you ordered that don't throw the box away because there's an extra one in there but this one is done this is in the shade nude color science in glow I liked this one it's a mineral uh, SPF brush on shield but the only thing I don't like is the brush gets a little bit grimy I know there are things to clean the brush with that's the reason I don't ever end up going through these all the way up and then we have the tower 28 this is a daily rescue facial spray it's a really nice spray and then we have another tower 28 mascara in black this is next to Chantecaille's Fossi Alonga Slash Mascara this is my next favorite mascara although I have to say the Hermes mascara might be up there as well we just have to keep trying it though we have this by by Rado. it was a really lovely product it's like a liquid lip but it's very hydrating which is the opposite of usually what liquid lips feel like they usually feel a little bit dry Chanel has one but they have a gloss on top that helps with hydration this doesn't need a another layer on top it's really lovely Sinsuticals Phyto A plus brightening treatment and this is kind of interesting that I did not use this I can't recall why but let me know if you try this, but it is a daily crunch of moisturizer to enhance skin tone, clarity, radiance, and texture. And for some reason, I did not use this. I recently used this Hermes product, and it's lovely. It's one of their lip oils. It's an O1, but it's just been around for a while when I used it. Camera, I realized it's been a while since I picked this up. So we're going to just, out of caution, get a new one in a little bit. But we're going to get rid of that one. And then we have these Tower 28 blushes well this one which is in magic hour it's beautiful it's a really lovely blush but I have so many cream blushes and I use this one probably off camera more than anything else but it's really lovely I would recommend it and then we have here oh I really liked this this lucent Circelle dramatic dramatic brightening potion with illuminate it says it inhibits the production of additional discoloration so that is something that a lot of other discolorating discolorating that is something that a lot of other products that address discoloration don't necessarily do. They'll address the discoloration on the face currently, but inhibiting the production of additional discoloration is something really like. So I will repurchase this when I'm done with all of the other brightening products that I have. Right now I'm back with the Tata Harper, which is also very nice. So that one's quite impressive. We have here the True Botanicals Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm. I really enjoyed this. Very effective cleansing as well. I also have this by True to True Botanicals that I used all the way up. It's the Niacinamide and Biotin Booster. All the way gone. I would definitely repurchase this, but like I said, I have so much 
skincare right now but I'm going to see how much I missed this but I used it all the way up and I enjoyed it while I had it. I travel with these. I need another one. The Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. I don't usually break out but when I travel I do so I take these with me because if I see something popping up I'll immediately put one of these on and it definitely helps shorten the lifespan of any breakout and takes care of them because I will scar easily as well and if it gets worse then it'll leave a scar so I need to take care of them right away. Bio lifting mask I love this one by Chantecai. We also have a milk makeup oh yeah this is a cleansing balm it was very nice it worked effectively I love a good cleansing balm so this one did a good job as well. Two of these I need to order from Color Science before their sale ends unless it already ended for their even up but these are some of their other products. I'll use the blush in the shade blush but this one is old now. It's in Berry. It's a lovely tone. It's a more um, intense shade. And then we have here bronze, which I didn't love. It's a little too sparkly. I like that idea of it though. Oh, this one. I think I have two, so I think I can get rid of this one. This is the original. Oh, it's falling apart. This is the original Perfect Blur Powder that came out in a limited edition in the Hummingbird. And you know, I have several of these, so I'm going to finally get rid of that one. We have here a Tower 28 in Bronzino Gold Coast, their bronzing product, which is a cream, which is also very lovely, but I have so many that I need to start like moving things out of my makeup area. We have the YSL mascara. I don't recall much of this, so I don't think I loved it. Oh yeah, the wand on this, the brush, is more substantial than most. That I apparently did not love it because I don't even remember much about it. It was not something that left an impression on me. Air Flash by Dior in W3W and 303. It was one of the nicest foundations I'd used at that time. That one provided a really nice thin layer, but pretty substantial coverage. It was nice. We got this oil-free balancing moisturizer by Chantecai. Very nice if you're looking for an oil-free moisturizer. This is by Chanel and I didn't use it all the way up. I thought I would. It's the root number 969 and it's just at the point where it's a little bit dry so I'm going to get rid of it. I think Clay Depot doesn't even make this anymore. It's the Brightening Enhancer Veil and it's SPF 32. So that one had a nice blurring effect on it and then we've got here victoria beckham's tan line which i love i love this but it's just time for this to go it's reached its life at this point so i think with the lip gloss products you have to be really aware of how long you've had them dior show mascara which is nice not my favorite mascara but it's very nice we have a lip maximizer by dior and i liked this one i feel like this is one of those products that I had that I liked and I misplaced it and now I found it and it's too late. So this is an 028. Really pretty shade though. It's like a watermelony shade. We have a lipstick by Gucci, which I did not like at all. It's very fluorescent-y looking and was not flattering at all. It's in 412. So I did not use that one. Nano Gold Energizing Face Cream. You know I love this one. It's the most luxurious face cream all the way gone. It's in that gold line. One of my favorite, favorite products of all. Grande Brow which I used on my eyebrows to get them to grow back a little bit more. And then we've got this Living Proof Dry Volume Blast. I don't really use anything really in my hair these days, so this didn't get much use at all, but we're gonna let this go. Another Tower 28 Mascara Bio Lifting Cream Plus, which I use for the day by Chantecai, which I really love also. Chantecai Nano Gold Energizing Eye Serum. Really love this one. I've got another one ready to go already in use. I have another AM. This is a Gold Recovery Intense Concentrate that I love so much. An HA Intensifier Multifunctional Serum to amplify hyaluronic acid levels. I really like SkinCeuticals for this very reason. If you look at their claims, they are not hyperbolic at all. They are very realistic claims and I feel like I'm more apt to believe those than something that's got some outrageous claim. So we got the old Pump and Brow by Dior which I really liked but love the new version better but still love the Jones Road even better. Then we've got here another by Rado. This is the clear one. Airbrush full of setting spray. If I was going to purchase another setting spray it would be this one. It was really nice by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't use setting spray so anymore very often but if I were I would repurchase this one. The beauty blender soap that I use to clean brushes but I'm testing out one from Ruffer right now that is created for brushes uh, especially their brushes. A lot of Dior lip products here. Um, 351 this is like that liquid lip stain I'm not sure of the name of it but it has this kind of applicator. I, think I really like more traditional lip 
products like lipsticks and then like your lip chic rouge coco balms that kind of a thing by chanel those are the kinds of products i like then we've got here Floritin CF Broad Range Antioxidant Combining 2% Florit, Floritin, Floritin, 10% L-Asorbic Acid and 5% Ferulic Acid. Really enjoyed this while I was using it. Stress Spare Concentrate Plus. This was what I was using before they came out with the new Biolifting Eye product. I was using this in the eye area. And I have another one that is in my travel that I travel with. We have another Fossi Longa Slash Mascara by Chantecaille. Yeah, I really liked this. This Ula Henriksen, their Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick, which is really lovely under the eyes. My only issue is, oh look, I really did use it quite a bit because it's pretty much empty. I would say I hit pan on this, but there's just a little excess there that if you don't put the product down all the way and then you put the lid on it's going to smash it which is what happened here but it's a really lovely brightening product so if you're no makeup or just very little makeup this is pretty under the eye it brightens it refracts the light it's also great under concealer then we've got here this is a dior rouge this one it's like a liquid lip i really didn't use this very much some formulas i really like by dior but then a lot of the other formulas i don't really prefer they do seem to have one of the most vast arrays of lip products different kinds of lip products as well as their shade ranges they seem pretty big so let me know what you love by dior for their lips because i think it's one of the harder lip lines to navigate i didn't think we'd get through these empties but we got through them today but do let me know what those empties are because that means you really love them that means that you have a lot of experience with them so what are those empties that you have that you would repurchase and maybe things that you wouldn't repurchase oh and let me know if there's anything on cyber monday that i should pick up that is on sale that you spotted that's a really good deal because sometimes i miss out on those things and i know it only happens very occasionally so do leave those in the description box below that is it for today's video so please take care of each other stay well if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you next time